Hey, what's happening? This is Get to the Point, back with another Power Stroke video. Today, I wanted to talk about the basic, basic operation of the Huey system. Huey is an acronym that stands for Hydraulically Actuated Electronically Controlled Unit Injector. And there's a lot of confusion out there as to what IPR stands for, what ICP stands for, how it works. And this is a piece of paper that I copied from the official international uh, T444E service manual. T444E is basically the same thing, almost 95% identical to a power stroke 7.3. Okay, so the way it works is you have three components here. The ICP sensor, ICP stands for injection control pressure. ICP is just a fancy term for the high pressure PSI in the oil rail. Okay. Next you have the ECM which is the engine control module. That's the brains of the unit. That's the computer that does all of the information gathering and makes decisions. Then you have the IPR which is the injection pressure regulator. That's an actual solenoid or an actuator meaning that it physically does something. So it either builds up pressure in the system or bleeds it off. Okay. So Let's say the injection control pressure is 500 PSI, but the ECM is calling for 1,000 PSI. So it's going to say, hmm, I, I have 500, but I need 1,000. Therefore, I need to build up pressure in the system to get what I want. So to do that, I'm going to close off the IPR valve. I'm going to uh, apply ground to that, and it's going to physically close and then provided that the o-rings and everything else in the system are intact when I close that IPR valve off the pressure should build up because remember the high pressure oil pump is still spinning all the time it's connected via gears to the crankshaft okay so anytime the engine is running the high pressure oil pump is spinning okay so I have 500 I need a thousand let me close off this IPR and then a couple of milliseconds later it will check what the ICP is saying next. So it's like, okay, ICP sensor, what's my PSI now? And it might say 1,200, okay? So then the ECM says, hmm, I'm calling for 1,000. Now I have 1,200. That's actually a tiny bit too much. Uh, let me bleed off some of the pressure by uh, ungrounding that IPR, and then the valve will open up the spring will retract and then I can bleed off pressure into the crankcase. Okay, so basically that's how the cycle works. Every few milliseconds the ECM is monitoring what the ICP sensor is telling it as to what the, the high pressure oil is and it's saying every few milliseconds build it up, bleed it off, build it up, bleed it off, hold what you got, build it up, bleed it off, hold what you got, build, bleed, build, bleed, over and over and over, faster than we can even say it, every few milliseconds. Okay, so that's all the IPR does is just open, close, open, close, open, close. So as you can see, that's why you need high quality oil in your power stroke because the sludge that can develop will uh, cause a problem with this IPR. So now what happens if the ICP feeds bogus information to the ECM? If it's too far out of whack, say the sensor goes bad and it starts saying, okay, ECM, the pressure is 800, 2500, 7, 1500, back and forth, and it's going up, down, up, down, up, down. The ECM is smart enough in its programming to know, okay, this ICP sensor has gone crazy. I'm going to disregard what it says and look at, I'm going to take it out of the equation, and I'm just going to tell the IPR what to do based on my best guess from looking at the throttle position sensor, engine coolant temperature sensor, uh, load sensor, etc. Okay, so as you can see, you really must have a tight system in order for this to work. And by tight, I mean it must be physically sealed up. The o rings have to be good, all the internal seals have to be good. Uh, if you have any leaks, it's the same thing as having a ruptured artery. Okay, the, the pump, the high pressure oil pump may be able to, to keep tabs with a small leak, but if you have a, a large leak, 
no matter how much the ECM commands this IPR closed to build up pressure, if it's a massive leak due to a torn or ruptured O-ring, either in the injector, the lines, uh, stand pipes on the 6.0, uh, the high pressure oil rail uh, injector nipple cups on the 6.0, etc., um, you're just going to be bleeding off pressure like crazy and therefore it cannot fire the injectors. High pressure oil is what fires the injectors, okay? so. Basically, it's like a, a, a fist pushing down on a syringe. If you imagine injecting uh, something with a syringe, the fist pushing on the syringe is like your high pressure oil. Okay, So if you don't have high pressure oil, you don't have any force to squirt the fuel, and therefore you're going to have problems. So really, system integrity is super important. That's basically how the system works. Uh, if you have any other questions, please comment below. I appreciate you watching.